What's up, you guys? This is Karmic Endings, 1010, where we talk about karmic situations that could be going on in your life at this time that you need to be aware of, or this could just be confirmation that you made the right decision or you're currently making the right decision. Archangels, spirit guides, ancestors of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel these current messages for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Ancestors of my highest good, please give me clear and accurate karmic messages and ancestor messages for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Please protect me as I get into this energy. All right. Thank you guys for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes, the emails, the bookings, the donations. I appreciate you guys. For all the love and the support you show to me on the channel, I appreciate you. I do. And all of the other information about me with the other platforms I am on will be down in the description box below with the links available. All right. All right, you guys. So let's get into it. See what's going on. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, ancestors. What would you like Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio to know at this time? What would you like Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio to know at this time? Three of Swords and Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so for some of you guys, you may be heartbroken about some kind of like financial loss, but you're going to get something. Okay, so you're going to you're going to receive something here. Okay, for some of y'all, it's like I'm hearing you may gamble or something and win big or something. Like, it's like you go from being in financial need to, to having more than what you need. <laughs> okay, kind of energy. All right, is what I'm seeing. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, you're going to get justice in a situation. For real, for real. All right. I'm also hearing something about a money spell, too. Okay, something about a money spell. Okay, as well. Hell yeah, Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Yo, Six of Pentacles. Six of Cups, I mean. Yo, you got the Ten of Pentacles right here, yo. So it's like you're going to receive, it's like you're getting, I'm hearing like replenished. I'm hearing like you're getting replenished. Okay. So if you felt depleted, it's like you're going to be getting like replenished and your ancestors want you to know that. So if you feeling heartbroken right now about a situation, don't be because you're going to receive everything that you want. The 10 of Pentacles is right there. Okay. 10 of Cups. That's the Ten of Cups. So definitely emotional fulfillment. For some of you guys, it's like you're going to get a lot of uh, support from your family in a situation. So you may be surprised about how much support you get from your family or people you consider your family. All right. In a situation. You may be surprised. Okay. For some of y'all, this could be even people you work with. Like. There could be somebody in need and then like the people that they work with all come together and help somebody like and somebody just be very shocked about how people come together for them and really help them out. OK, it's like I'm hearing you're just going to realize how covered you are, how much protection you have, you know, how much people love you for real. Maybe you feel like people don't don't fuck with you like that, but you're going to really see that people do fuck with you and they love you and they're there for you. It may surprise you a little bit. All right. <laughs> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, remember who you are. Okay. So your ancestors want you to remember who you are. Yeah, honoring. Okay. Shapeshifter. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Vision, okay? Vision quest, seeking, reconnect with Mother Earth. So if you haven't been connecting with Mother Earth, you need to. Going outside, spending time outside, putting your feet in the grass, 
okay that's exactly what i did today it was very very nice outside and i went outside i put my feet in the grass and everything to ground myself and you know all that okay so make sure you are connecting with mother earth at this time because it's like for a lot of you guys really connecting with mother earth is going to help you transmute some kind of energy so if you heartbroken about some money in the situation it's like your ancestors want you to reconnect with Mother Earth because that's how you honor them. For some of y'all, like I always say, it's the simple shit that people don't think that your think that the higher ups look at. It's the simple shit. Reconnecting with Mother Earth, making sure you're grounding yourself. You honoring your ancestors and your past on loved ones when you do that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's the simple shit sometimes. You know, things that people overlook. <laughs> you know so whatever whatever you're seeking you're gonna find it just make sure you are keeping yourself balanced at this time so keeping yourself balanced is very important watching who you're around you know what i'm saying and stuff like that is very important in your life okay yeah conclusions are within reach in your situation Yeah, what do you need to release? The end of a tough cycle is approaching. Yeah, track down your fears and desires and take time to reflect. Okay, so for some of you guys, you need to take time to reflect because there could be a situation that you holding on to that you need to release. Okay, so let's see. What is this that cancer pisces scorpio need to release what is this cancer pisces and scorpio i heard procrastination what do you need to release cancer pisces scorpio what do you need to release what do you need to release Five of Wands, Page of Swords, Ten of Cups. For some of y'all, this could have something to do with a family situation that's bringing you conflict. Yeah. I'm just hearing like you need to release this here. You could have a family situation. It's like they bringing you conflict or something like that. Okay. Okay. It's like, I'm just seeing somebody is like watching you, like on your ass, like curious about your situation. Like, it's like somebody is just too nosy or something like that. And it's like, you just need to release this shit, okay? I don't give a fuck if it's family or not, yo. If they bring a conflict, it's time to go, okay? It's time to motherfucking go. <laughs> That's just motherfucking period, okay? It's time to go, all right? So for some of y'all, you could be realizing it because... Somebody could have hidden hidden motives and intentions in your energy any fucking way. So you need to let that go. <laughs> you got somebody with fake ass energy around you anyway. So you need to let this go. They ain't right and never going to be right. Okay, you could have people in your energy only want to fuck with you because on what you can do for them. Okay, and that's a hell no. All right. <laughs> That's a hell no. Something to do. Your Pisces, your energy out here strong. And you got Gemini, Leo, Capricorn. Or a Scorpio. Something to do with 18 could be significant. All right. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Yeah. Clearing the way. So all these changes that you are making is help clearing the way in your situation so you can get where you're trying to go. Yeah, the king of strolls is in the reverse. So y'all may realize that somebody that you felt like had the answer to your situation, they don't know shit or something like that, okay? That could be a family member <laughs> or a neighbor, for some of y'all could be a neighbor that's that's petty as hell or it's like they always watching you like on your ass or something like that. 
Yeah, we got Up in the Air, the Akashic Library, and we have Buddha Repairs. So it's like for a lot of you guys, make sure that whoever is in your energy giving you like advice or like on how to do certain shit, make sure they know what the fuck they talking about. Because somebody could be giving you advice and different shit and all it does is delay you. Like, just be careful on the advice and different things that you're taking from people. Okay? Because, I mean, you're on the verge of um, really, <clears throat> I'm hearing, breaking through a situation or breaking a certain cycle or breaking a certain generational curse. So be careful of people that come in your energy right now, call themselves trying to give you direction and shit like that. Not to say you're not going to have good people coming around you, but you also have somebody come, you know, you, you do have people that try to set you back on purpose now. Okay. Or they could just be jealous or of what you have and trying to set you back and shit. Okay. Somebody's birthday could be in April, February. Something to do with the 18th. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oop. Uh-oh. Let's get this current karmic energy. Current karmic energy for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Yeah, so there's a backstabber in your energy that could have an STD or an STI. Okay. So there's somebody that backstabbed you. Whoever this person is, they could have an STD, STI. Whether this is a neighbor or a family member. <laughs> okay. What's going on? With this current energy for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio the hell y'all it's just cards keep falling and shit <laughs> we got the ace of swords so for some of y'all it's like you're gonna figure out who this person is you're gonna receive some strong clarity about a backstabber yeah nine of cups in the reverse hell yeah yeah this this yeah you're gonna realize about a backstabber yeah ace of wands sun card yeah, something is going to be very enlightened. Okay, whoever this person is in your energy, they could really have an STD. So whoever this person is, for some of y'all, this could be a part of somebody you need to release. Okay, it's like you're going to get some clarity about something and it's not going to make you happy here. Okay, it's going to cause some kind of conflict in a situation. You're going to feel betrayed. Okay. What else? Yeah, King of Cups, your energy. Yeah, Page of Cups. Now, this is not for everybody. For some of y'all, I'm hearing something about an STD. Or whoever this person is in your energy, like they could be dealing with somebody that likes to just be out here and fuck around and somebody could have caught an STD. Okay? Or something like that. So, somebody is going to get some kind of clarity about somebody and it's going to make them unhappy. Okay, is what I'm seeing. And somebody is definitely going to feel backstabbed. Somebody is going to go very cold on somebody and very just withdrawn. Okay. So, Pisces, your energy is out here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sag. Strong Gemini and strong Leo. Okay. Okay. Yeah, something about luck in your energy at this time. Water signs, something to do with luck. Luck being on your side. Give me a spirit animal. For the water signs. All right, we have dolphin, peace. The gentle nature of the dolphin reminds you to look for the good in everyone and strive to bring peace to your life and those around you. 
trust your instincts and intuition rather than overthinking things. So you guys are being led to stop overthinking. Intuition, Blu-ray. You are encouraged to follow your feelings and intuition. This is a reminder that your personal power is in your own hands and that you are free to take flight at any time if you find yourself in a situation that doesn't suit you anymore. So whatever that's, that doesn't suit you anymore, don't feel like you're obligated to stick to it. Okay, if it don't suit you no more, let it go. Okay, it's just period. All right? You don't have to stick to shit that doesn't align with you anymore. And you don't owe nobody an explanation for that shit either. Okay? If it don't align with you anymore, then separate. It's as simple as that. Okay? The only time, the only reason why things get hard for people to detach is because their emotions. It's always the emotions that keep people attached to shit. Okay? That they don't need to be attached to. Okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also, I'm hearing somebody is going to um, feel betrayed because somebody going to feel like somebody is going to be working with somebody else in a situation. This could be like something to do with an artist. Somebody going to feel betrayed that somebody is choosing to work with somebody else and not them. That's what I'm seeing. So that could hurt somebody. We got C. So if you're the one somebody choosing to work with, there could be somebody else that it's like they hurt because somebody is choosing you. Or this could be how you feel. Okay. Current energy. bottom of the deck something to do with a house could be significant a new house or something to do with a house somebody could have a big butt something to do with a capricorn could be significant we got leggings we have rap artists somebody could be a construction worker we have mental health issues left arm tattoos something to do with a ceo we have condo Somebody could be sick, five, five to six feet. Somebody could love heels or love when someone wears them. We have hood, colorful socks. Somebody could have tea or drink it. Something with tea, cashier. We have O. That fire sign of hater, Aries Leo Sag, short curly hair. We have U. Something to do with a Chrysler. Black magic was put on your family. Something to do with a Virgo or nine could be significant some kind of way. We have A. All right, somebody could have triple A or something. Real as fuck. I'm telling y'all some real shit. Thongs, boy shorts. Somebody could have an accent. We have assistant, briefs. We have joggers. We have performer. Something to do with rings. And we have Z. Okay. Somebody could uh, be a life path number nine. Something to do with Arizona. Amanda. I heard Ariel. Okay. Okay. I heard Ari. 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 Something like that. Ari. I heard Zara. Okay. I heard California. Okay. Something with um calzone, calzones, or calzone, or something. Okay, something to do with August could be significant in some kind of way. Somebody could have a child uh, birthday that's in August. This child could be nine years old right now. Okay. Also, somebody could have been born in September. I heard Eugene. I heard Orleans, Orlando. Oasis. I heard Amina or Amir. Okay. I heard Colorado. Okay. Any other messages, Spirit?
All right, you guys, I really hope that these messages helped you or gave you some kind of clarity in your situation. I heard cactus, something about a cactus or something about the desert could be significant. All right. Something with Kalamazoo. I heard Kalamazoo. All right. All right, you guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Look in the description box below for any other information about me. And until next time, peace.